Hi, my name's Adrian from Imagination Station, and today we are talking about tops. Tops are one of the oldest toys known to man. Archaeologists have dated tops to more than 6,000 years ago. Tops have been found in almost every culture um, on almost every continent. Tops have been mentioned in art and literature and even found in the tomb of King Tut. Tops can be made from many different materials, from wood or glass or metal, but today we're going to make it out of a piece of cardboard and a skewer. It's very simple. All you need to remember is that your point, your pivot point, needs to be as close to the center as possible and your weight needs to be as low on the skewer as possible to have a successful top. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try finding the center of a piece of cardboard. A square is pretty easy. All you need to do is draw a line from one corner to the other and then turn it and draw another line from the corners and where they intersect in the middle is your center. With a circle, it's a little bit more complicated, but not very. All you need to do is draw a line on the circle at any place and measure the distance from any two points on the circle. Now, we're going to want to divide this line into two pieces, so pick a number that's easy to divide by two. I'm picking two inches, and I'm going to draw a line, and I'm going to mark where the center is, and then I'm going to find another place to draw a line, also two inches long. And I'm going to mark the center. Now, they can be anywhere that you want, except they can't be parallel. Then, you mark a line from that center mark perpendicular to the line that you first did. And then you do that to the second line, marking from the center point a 90 degree line. And where the two lines intersect, that is your center point. So once we've found the center by intersecting these two lines, then we can go and use a sharp object like an awl. Be sure to ask your parents to help you. And you make a hole in the center and then you put your stick through, and there's your top. You can make it round like this one, or you can make it with the square one. Or you can put them both together. and still have a top. You can make it with many different layers. You can decorate it any way you like. And if you find other materials you like to work with, like bottle caps or anything around the house, all you have to do is find the center and put the skewer in so that the weight is close to the bottom. If you leave the top long, you can even use both hands to spin it. A top works very simply. When you apply a spinning motion, it will continue to spin until gravity and friction cause it to wobble and topple. Now, you notice my top is not quite round or square, but it is balanced and has the same amount of weight on each side. But what would happen if it was just a little out of balance, like if we took one of these off. Now, this side is going to be much different, and you can see it doesn't take very long at all for it to come to a stop. Now, as I said before, you can make a top out of anything. Here, we've made it out of Legos. We've put a stack of Legos in the center and a low point for it to spin on. But what would happen if we turned it upside down and used a high point to spin on? Well, let's give it a try. Takes a little effort. It doesn't work nearly as well. 
even though it spins a little bit, gravity pushes it over pretty quickly. But if we turn it back upside down, where the center of gravity is low, it's pretty easy to spin. So this is one of my favorites. This is made with a rubber ball with a very soft surface. And so when we spin it, you'll notice that it spins, but as soon as it grips, it begins to turn in the opposite direction. Back in ancient times, the first children to discover how to spin a top, I'm sure used probably acorns or nuts, or even fruits like this uh, acorn squash. And so they probably took it and gave it a spin and tried to see who could keep their acorn squash spinning the longest. So these two tops are examples of stuff you can build with things you find around your house. Here we used a CD with a marble hot glued onto the bottom with a simple bottle cap on top to give you something to grip on. Now, hot glue is a good material because it dries quickly and it's very firm. These will stay on there for a long time. The marble, instead of being a point, all the surface area is a point. The part that it's spinning on is the point of rotation. This is a little bit larger. This was done with a ping pong ball and a cork, but the same basic idea. And it likewise spins on a very round point on the ping pong ball. For more cool ideas on things to tinker with, check out our website and keep tinkering. <laughs>